now we've done our Brexit, this is the latest bit of jingoism that everybody wants to get involved in. I work around telecoms and can basically tell you that it, the core network is the bit that processes data and they're not involved in the core network. So it's the same as if you're installing a telephone system in your office and they were providing the wiring. Nobody would be upset about that and suggesting a piece of copper wire could be tapped. Um, so I just think, yeah, it's um, the country needs another foreign enemy to pick on. And this is what happens to be around at the time. Well, Brian, do you think it's surprising that a Chinese company manages to attract former senior civil servants to its board, uh, former bosses of big companies, um, and that we have a former prime minister acting as an interlocutor between our government and China? I mean, does that strike you as all being normal and good and reasonable and proper? Well, I, th I think, you know, in, in the world in which we now inhabit, where we are... Um, thanks to your efforts, a global trading nation and no longer tied down mm -hmm. to our nearest neighbours, then having those sorts of commercial relationships with some of the mm, largest well, economies in the world, that's what, that's what, that's what this whole thing's about, that isn't is, it? Isn't, isn't that that is a very That is a very good point and strong argument and well made. But Australia, and particularly since we turned our backs on them back in 1973, Australia had to try and make its way in the world, and it decided that China was the way to go. And kids in school in Australia, they all learn Mandarin. You know, you go to Melbourne, you see an awful lot of Chinese businesses, Chinese people. It's a very, very close relationship now between Australia and China. And yet even Australia have banned Huawei from their cyber infrastructure. So, I, Brian, I get the point that we are thinking much bigger and broader than just Europe. Of course we are. But security, surely, if we even... To make their own Brian, decision. Let, let, let me ask and you we this. respect the fact that Australia have made their decision, but ourselves right. as a sovereign nation with our own good patriotic experts in the security services have told mm. us it's safe. So I'm not sure why we would not trust ourselves. All right. So, oh, fine. So all I'm saying to you is, Australia... New Zealand, Canada and Australia all feel incredibly strongly about this. Do you think if people that we know as well as this have these concerns that they might between them just have a point? I think that the fact that they feel like that, we should engage mm. with that and recognise it. But I don't think anybody has presented any evidence that there is a risk. There is only a feeling. And if you start to run... Uh, major procurement decisions and governments based on feelings rather than evidence, then you're heading for a very dark place.